Push That Rock from Simpson Math. Let's talk good and great mathematicians. For this video, I must give a shout out to Ben Orland and his great little book that you can see in the foreground right here. Um, math with Bad Drawings. Fantastic little book. A good mathematician examines hard problems with the patience to reach complicated solutions. So, a good mathematician will look at a problem, say like this one. When does the dot product simply equal when? This question mark means when is this true? When does the dot product simply equal the product of the magnitudes of the two vectors? Well, the dot product is the magnitude of V times the magnitude of the W times cosine of the angle between them. So when does that equal simply the product of the two uh, magnitudes? Great mathematicians turn hard problems with complicated solutions into easy problems and have the patience to find the simple solutions. So we had the magnitude of V times the magnitude of w, w times cosine of the angle between them. That's three numbers, A, B, C. And we wanted to know when, under what conditions, would it equal just the magnitude of V times the magnitude of W. In other words, the product of these first two. That's a little bit simpler to think about. When do these three numbers equal those two numbers? Well, of course, there's infinite many solutions because 3 times 4 times 2, that's 24. 8 times 3 is 24. We could play that game all day long. But we also have some easier situations. Remember, great mathematicians have the patience to find simple solutions. So if A was 0, the product of both sides would be 0. Same for B. Oh, but if C was 1, then the product of both sides would be AB. So those are the simple solutions. Now, a good mathematician thinks quickly, too. He sees, oh, well, if I have a 1 here, I get, a, I get an answer. So if cosine of theta equals 1, how about that? Boom. Oh, and cosine of theta equals 1 if theta is 0 or 360. But a great mathematician thinks a little slower, more carefully, and thinks about the consequences. What does it mean for cosine of the angle between them to be 1? Well, if theta has to be 0, that means there is no angle between the vectors. And if there's no angle between the vectors, well, then the two vectors are going in the same direction. Or they are what we say parallel. Now, the greatest mathematicians, they keep thinking. After they find some solutions, they think about the consequences of those solutions. Or they think about f some more solutions. Of course, we already mentioned if one of the vectors was 0, the product. Uh, the dot product would simply equal the product of the magnitudes because if this vector was zero, so would his magnitude be zero, so we'd have zero on both sides. Okay, But are there other situations? Let's think about it for a minute. Well, let's remember the other definition of the dot product. The other definition of the dot product says if we multiply the first components of the two vectors, multiply the second components of the two vectors, and then add those two products together, you get the dot product. Oh, so like if I go 2 times a negative 3 and get negative 6, and then 2 times 3 and get 6, and then add them together, I get 0. Hmm, if the dot product itself is 0 without one of the two vectors being 0, what does that have to say about this other definition? There's definitely a magnitude here that's not zero and a magnitude here that's not zero. So that means that this would have to be zero. When is cosine of theta equal to zero? Oh, when the angle between them, when theta is 90 degrees, which theta is the angle between them. So when theta is 90 degrees, so when the angle between them is a right angle. Oh, so when the vectors are perpendicular. So the greatest mathematicians, they keep thinking, they persist and persist and think more and think slowly. They're not just quick and jump on the first answer. Everybody thinks the clever one is the one that's fast. No. The greatest mathematician thinks slowly, carefully, and persists and thinks some more. Math made simple at Simpson Math.